I go. Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to Purple Nerd Gallery. Here we are again with Francis Fezzi, um, who is sharing an exhibition with Claire Purser. But Claire is in Brisbane and she's not coming down for this exhibition. So we're going to manage our way all the way around. We're going to talk about all the paintings. Um, we can both have a little discussion about Claire's, but Claire's sort of speak for themselves in lots of ways. She paints around Morton Bay and they're absolutely beautiful, mainly big. Whereas Frances' work is mostly around the Blue Mountains. So mostly, yep, yep. yep. And, and her paintings are mostly of trees. So we can go through each painting and we'll be reasonably quickly. We have to get this um, finished in less than 15 minutes. So I won't talk for too long. And um, the exhibition starts Saturday the 8th of July and it will run through until the end of the month. So all of the pipe paintings are for sale. We have sold a couple, but it's early days and we haven't opened yet. We're doing this a little bit pre the exhibition and um, we hope you can make it. If you can't get here on Saturday night, perhaps you would like to, um, I'm sorry about that. Perhaps you would like, did that stop the video? No? Okay, sorry, we've just, <laughs> just a business. Um, you could watch it on online. The whole, all of this video will be online. Let's start. We'll start here with your wall because nearly everything on this black back wall is yours, Francis. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, I have favourites and these are just beautiful. I can't decide between this one, uh -huh. which I love, and this one. So let's start with this one here oh, and you okay. can tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, so um, oh, I think all of them are in oil paint. Yeah, they are. Um, they are built up on, um, so I build a lot of layers into the painting. They sort of work on top of, um, yeah, lots of, lots of different coloured layers and I try and leave a little bit of each, sort of like a, a history of the painting, I suppose. Um, yeah, so they're mountains. Uh, this, this one's inspired by, um, actually more towards Bilpin, out this way. That's right. It's a, it's a start, it's a new growth in sunlight, so yeah. I don't really know where it is, but it would, these would be after the bushfires? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. so the new growth after the fires, yeah. yeah. Which um, some forests, you know, they bounce back quickly, some others take a bit of time. But I, I just find it really fascinating how the, yeah, the trees react to the environment and what's happening. Um, and, and I think that's what I love about your work. You've pretty well based your whole career, since your university days, so you mm. studied at New South Wales? Yeah, New College University, of Fine Arts. College yeah. of Fine Arts, mm -hmm. and you have an honours degree there. Yes. So that's, that's wonderful. Since then, you've really based your whole artistic life on trees. Yeah, like tree, treescapes, I call trees, them. Yeah, yeah. landscapes. Yeah. And they're beautiful. I have one hanging in my house, oh, which yeah. I bought a, in the Hawkesbury Art Prize quite a few years back, because you've been a regular finalist, in, and you've won the residency in the yeah, Hawkesbury Art Prize. So you've, um, you've certainly got some credits to your career. We'll go quite quickly. I have actually popped a couple of um, Claire's paintings in with this group, just so that we don't forget Claire, because she's not here, we can't. Yes. Pretend yeah, she, she isn't in the exhibition, but this is a lovely little one of Claire's. Claire's are all the same. This one's on board, all oil, and, and this this is probably one of my favourites. It is a little dream boat. It's tiny, and so I'm putting my hand there to see, so you can see how big it is, and I thought it really complemented your Yeah, your they work well together, actually. This one, I've had people comment on this. It's stunning. There's that sort of red light, yeah, right. and I think it's the, it makes the green really quite intense, having that red sort of strong colour behind. Um, yeah, but you know, often you see landscape uh, afternoon oh, scenes where the where the light. Well, we saw it the other day, didn't we? We were down. commenting yeah. how it was like one of your paintings. The light was shining on the tree. The tree looked red. It was. Uh, and I said, that's one of Francis's <laughs> paintings. And it's Noan Dock Forest, which uh, now which is forest, but yeah, which is up near. Um, it's up near Walker. Um, was it north? Uh, so Barrington Tops go and you oh, go okay. inland. It's up. It's quite high, high. So the altitude's quite high. It's like a because thousand. You used to live there. Yes, I live, yeah. used to live there around there. Yeah. So I have spent a lot of my life in the country, and it, yeah, that's, I think that's why I like the country. Oh, well, I mean, well, that's why I like both clubs here because yeah. we're not that far from the city. Now that's these true. little ones have sparked lots of interest, and a couple of them are sold, but they're all little blue Bilpin studies. Yes. And Bilpin's just up the road here. We've yeah. got lots of Bilpin friends. And um, it's, it, but this one, just tell me about it. Yeah, so um, this is, uh, it's, what have I called it? Uh, it's, it's big. 
It's called, uh, yeah, the view between Lapston and Glenbrook. So that's on, that's the, the Lower Blue Mountains. Yes. Yeah. And I used to catch the train often and there's a section um, on the train where the reception goes. So you can't read your book or, oh. or do any internet. Oh, and okay. you sort of go through a little bit of a tunnel. So you have, you've sort of forced to look out the window. And there's, the, you know, there's this beautiful scene of the um, Benedictine lookout. And um, yeah, it's so all the trees and the, the, and the afternoon is, light. Yeah, and the colours in this are just divine. And the further back you stand, the more beautiful it looks. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, it's, 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 it's just so glorious. And these trees, look at the little bits of pink in the trees, which and, and yeah, these are like they're yeah. purple. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, the, the new growth of Australian bush. Well, let's keep moving. Just tell us a little bit about these, this wall here, and then we'll sort of spin around. Although, most of the others, there's a couple more of yours, most of the others are clear. So we will just concentrate on Yeah, so these, these ones two. are, um, again, they're the, that same lookout which is at Belpin called End of the Earth Lookout, which you're sort of on a cliff edge and you get to see all the mountain ranges of the Wollamai Forest and um, yeah, the Blue Mountains. And um, yeah, so they're built up on uh, yeah, lots of layers, which is what it's like when you, I, I find it, and it's sort of messy, like the bush, the Australian bush. It is, yeah. yeah that's but still, you know, has aspects of, of beauty. And you know what I really like is the light in mm. your work. It's yeah. a feature, isn't it? Yes, it, yes. it really yeah. is. You have the light will just be, and I know I've seen it myself in the bush where the light will just be on one tree stump yeah. or one, yeah. and it'll it'll be a different color. And, and you seem to capture that really well. And just this idea of the mountains always in the background, always yeah. the, yeah. Yeah, you know. I like the sense, de sense of depth somehow. Yes. To add, uh, yeah. it well, it's nearly what I get here. I look straight out to the mountains mm -hmm. and oh, they change color all the time. Yeah. It's yeah, you, and you can go another time and it's it's kind of bland looking, you know, Absolutely. when the, yeah. the harsh light is at yeah. midday or whatever. But then other times you can see it. I just love it. It's like a changing, it's like a TV screen, it changes all the time. I know, it's incredible. The cra the, the, they're just, those two are, are stunning. So if anyone's interested in a gorgeous little blue mountain, <laughs> I certainly recommend these two. But I also think that's that's got a special charm. That Mount Wilson is a really popular place. I, mean, mm -hmm. I believe they're building beautiful homes out there now. You know, yes. very expensive land and very beautiful homes all built with um, with, to be able to withstand bushfires and all this sort of yes, sustainable. So that is wrong. gorgeous. What? I don't know what's going on there. Little, little, little hiccup. Glitch. Never mind, we'll keep going. Yep. Yes. And just, I'm just putting my hand there so you can sort of see how small yes, it is. But it's, it's so deep that one. There's something that grows on me, that one. Mm. Very briefly, I think I've had at least five or six people ask to buy that one, and I can only sell it once, so it's such a shame, but there's something about that one that appeals to everyone. Yeah, somehow it's the, I think it's the, I don't know, the, the, that light. I don't know either, but is there, it is, yeah. it, it would it's have been. It's quite delicate in parts. It's, it's tiny, but it is just so, so cute. Mm -hmm. And another one of Claire's down here, which again is really quite sweet. You know, just that subtle colour, the beiges in it. It's um, a beautiful little painting. It's quite, it's quite a calm looking painting. Yeah, it's it is. It's, it, and it fits into the little your studio, what do you call them, salon walls really well. Mm -hmm. Now, moving right along, we do have one of these big ones of Claire's. Now, Claire's work, Claire likes painting big, and so these are really big canvases. And she always paints around Moreton Bay, where she lives in uh, Queensland. I don't know the area myself, but Often, if you ever follow Claire on Instagram, she will often hold up her work against the background. So she'll paint plain air outside and she'll hold up her painting and there it is. And it's, you know, you don't realise how similar. But this one, with the zinnias I think they are, mm. is really beautiful. She doesn't normally include plants, but um, this one... They kind of make that painting, don't they? That sort of pop. Yeah, yeah, I just love it. It pops, looks fabulous on the white wall as well. And I've got some, I've taken some photos on the white wall so that people can see how it looks on both colours. These two are outstanding. The yeah. light. Yeah. Talk about them. Well, they're Francis's paintings. <laughs> I was thinking about that, about this the other day, about my um, art education and how I was influenced by, you know, the teachers of the day who, um, yeah, who sort of, it, you know, was quite a while ago now, I guess, where they were, um, it, abstract expressionism was a, was a, still a big thing um, in the art world. And um, so I learned a lot about that. And, you know, it's all about composition and mark making and um, 
yeah, the dynamics of colours and, and lines. Um, yeah, and I feel like that that's, that's always influenced my work. Uh, well, know, I think it sort of melds the two. Would you, how would you describe that? Because it does have that expressionistic, abstract expressionistic yeah, yeah. look about yeah, it. Something. And yet, I could see that you would be able to say, oh, that's where that was painted in gold. You can still identify yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very much so. And then moving along and keeping to the yellow theme, and I think this is beautiful. I was on my walk um, a couple of mornings ago and I was underneath a wattle tree, which is in full flower, and it reminded me straight away of this oh, little yes. painting. So yeah. I put the them together in, a, in, a, in an image and it looked lovely. And this is just mm. divine. It's so, but, so but sweet. The more I look at it, the more, um, yeah, the more I can see this, yeah, the depth. In, um, I'm just trying to get things cliff edge, out when cliff edge look at. Yeah, again, no, cliff edge show. Yeah. yeah. Again, it's just like, yeah, when you're walking along, you can, along these, these rich ridges, you can see, yeah, little glimpses of the, the mountains on the other side. And okay, I'm getting a hurry up because we're not moving fast enough and we're starting to go around. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you do, you, do you go walk book shopping all the time? Do you just. Oh, yeah, regularly on a regular on basis. basis. Yeah, on my own quite often. Um, another big one of Claire's, again, you know, it's been stretched to sort of fill a big space in the house and so you probably need a big area for this one. If you love red, that red sort of really just jumps out and it's a fabulous painting, Claire, if you're watching this. Um, I wish Claire was here because it's always lovely. Uh, we get lots of feedback about these videos and the feedback is always, we love listening to the artist. Yeah. So I try to shush up and you know, have the artist do more talking, but um, since she's not here, here's two smaller ones, very, very typical Claire Purser style. If you like Claire's work, you'll identify with these straight away and they really are quite lovely. They're unframed, but it would be easy to put a frame on them. And we could do that for you anyway. Now, this one, we have used this a fair bit in our advertising because it's, I guess it's just so big and has so much impact. I could see this in a harbour house somewhere or any house on the beach, but then any house, there's so many houses are, paint, houses are painted white now. And if you're looking for that big statement painting, here's your painting. It is absolutely beautiful, Claire, so congratulations, I love it. Mm -hmm. And the same with this one, which I believe is the same, they're the same view. I think they're called Toonda, Toonda Harbour. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, obviously just different views, but I do love these two little, Splotches there. Do you reckon they're birds or do you think they're waves? Could be either one, I guess. Yeah, I just think that's that's tremendous. And another, they're you know, quite big. That one's about nearly a metre by a metre. This one's 1.5 by 1.5, so really large. Another one of uh, Claire's small works, which is similar to the one over the other side, and I should tie that up, which I haven't done, but we'll get there. And yeah, that one's nice with the sort of underpainting. Anyway, yes, and she does a lot of underpainting and mm. on board too. Yeah, yeah, so I'm not sure you paint on board. Paint on board mostly, yeah. Well, mm. Yeah, you like the texture. Yeah, I like the texture. Yeah, and I, I find the canvas ones have more canvas texture, I guess, and that's sort of not where I'm. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that. I love that. You can make board. it really smooth and then you yes. can make it sort of. Well, we've only got one texture. To go, so. <laughs> and this is the last one. I just wanted to make sure I pointed out that these ones are actually works on paper. I've got two of them and they're Claire's, and this one's Bribey Island, and we've um, float mounted them and framed them. I hope everyone can make the show. It's a beautiful, beautiful exhibition. And um, thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.